There's a saying you may have heard in both farming and in war that 99% of success is just moving things from point A to point B. I've heard it paraphrased uh, as many ways as there are seasons, and I think it's just as true of farming and war as it is of technology. See, in most of our applications, we require the right data to be at the right place at the right time. And to some degree, this is about putting together a data strategy and identifying the data in the first place. But for many organizations, especially once they've passed this point, once they're operating, as they start to climb the maturity ladder, the next most common issue that they face is that even though they know the data they need and they know what they want to do with it, they simply don't have enough horses to move the right data to the right place at the right time. And so if you look at the way that most of these organizations spend their time, the capabilities they try to develop, the things they invest in from an infrastructure or personnel perspective, a lot of it is this simple. It's trying to move something like this big pool. Maybe it's a lake, maybe it's a swamp, I don't know, but it's some data from one place to another. For example, I've got some trees over there. They don't have enough water right now. This, too much water in one place. So it'd be nice if I could move this water over to where it's needed. Too much here, too little over there. To do that, I need to just think about a pipe, just like a data pipeline. And sometimes we need those pipes for things like data science. Other times we might need those pipes for things like uh, backup or recovery. So in all these circumstances, the easiest thing to do is, is count, add up things, and divide. So for example, if you want to build a model every night based on customer records, like sales records or transactions, then you need to make sure that all of the data that came in today is able to be moved to the place where you're going to build the model by the end of the day. And to do that, you can count up how much data comes in compressed, uncompressed, transactions, average sizes, whatever, and see if you've got a big enough pipe to move that data to the right place by the time you want to build the model. If you don't start there, if you don't check that the answer is yes, I have enough bandwidth, then it doesn't matter what you do, you're in for trouble. And until you address that issue, you're going to have problems. Similarly, if you've got an RTO and an RPO in your, your BCDR plan for a system, and you know that you have more data than the pipe can move in the amount of time that you've written down in that plan, then you've got a problem, and you're gonna to need to figure out what to do with it. And at the end of the day, all of this stuff typically comes down to looking at things like diameters, rates, and volumes, and not hard, uh, even when you don't really have hard numbers and you just use assumptions, go a long way to making sure that when push comes to shove, when you really need it, or when you're done building that research and development model and you're ready to put it in production, things actually go well. Hopefully it's for creating value and not just for responding to risk, but either way, the point stands. Make sure that you have the pipes and the horses needed to move things from point A to point B. For me right now, that means more water and more seed and more diesel. For you, I hope it's something a little bit more fun. Either way, see you next week.